Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add audio to um, your web page using the HTML5 audio tag. Um, keep in mind that this is a, um, a newish tag at the time this video was made. Um, so some older browsers may not necessarily support it. However, all recent browsers um, support it. Um, so Chrome, Safari, um, Internet Explorer, uh, Firefox, Opera, all the new versions of those browsers support the HTML5 audio tag. Okay, so to start with, you're going to need uh, an audio file to include in your web page. Um, so for this tutorial, I have um, grabbed a free audio file from the uh, YouTube audio library. Um, so if you go to youtube.com slash audio library slash music, you can download uh, free music here um, that you can use for um, different projects and you can use them for videos on YouTube. So they're free for you to use. Um, also you can go to freesound.org and if you sign up to freesound.org you can download a lot of free sound effects there as well. Um, but I've already downloaded a free song from the YouTube audio library and I have it in my folder here. So I have my web page here and I have my uh, audio file, a song here, which is in MP3 format. And um, that's what I'm going to use in this um, web page. So to start with, in your um, the body section of your web page, we're going to use the audio tag. And this is a double tag, so we need to use the closing audio tag. Okay, so you've got an audio tag and a closing audio tag. In the audio tag, we also add this tag, so source. Um, so basically in the source section, this is where we're going to add um, the file name of the audio file and what type of file it is as well. So after source, we add the source attribute, or SRC attribute, and then in quotation marks, we need to reference the actual file that is being used. And uh, keep in mind that you it, it's case sensitive, so if there's capital letters, um, then you need to include those as well. So my audio file is called the end is near mp3. So I'm just going to copy that in and paste that. So the end is near dot mp3. And then I need to use the type attribute to specify what type of audio file this is. So it's an mp3 file. So I use audio slash mpeg. Okay. And there's a number of different formats you can use. The HTML5 audio tag supports mp3 supports OG and it supports WAV files. Okay, but keep in mind that not all of these audio files are supported in every browser. So for example, OG um, currently is not supported in Safari or Internet Explorer and WAV is not supported in Internet Explorer currently. However, MP3 is supported in all of the major browsers. So if you use MP3, you should be fine. But what you can do is say for example mp3 wasn't compatible or you were using another file that wasn't compatible with all browsers then you can actually use multiple source tags and oops just need to close each tag off just remember to do that so you can actually use multiple source tags and you can use different files so if you have uh, three different files one in mp3 format one in OG format, sorry, typo, and one in WAV format, then you can actually, um, basically, the browser will play whichever file is compatible. So if the browser is unable to play the MP3 file, then it will play the OG file or the WAV file. So you can um, include different file types there, but you also need to make sure you've got these files in your folder ready to use. So um, different versions of that song or sound effect. Okay, so another typo. So 
If you use MP3, then the type is audio slash MPEG. If you have an OG file, then the type is audio slash OG. And if you have a WAV file, then the type is audio slash WAV. Okay, so um, I'm not going to include OG and WAV because I don't actually have any OG or WAV files. I just had the MP3 version. But what you can do is you can add um, a message inside the audio tag to tell the user if um, no audio file that you've included on the page is supported by their browser, well then you can tell them that. So you can include a message saying, um, your browser does not support the HTML5 audio tag, or your browser cannot play this sound. Okay, so if you add that little message there inside your audio tags, then that message will only be displayed to the user if their browser is not up to date and it doesn't support the HTML5 audio tag. Okay, so you should add that to um, the audio tag in your web page. Okay, so we've used the audio tag, we've used the source tag, and we've used the source attribute and type attribute to specify the file name and also the file type. Okay, we've just added a little message here to display if the browser um, doesn't support the HTML5 audio tag. But there is uh, one more thing that we need to do to actually get this to play. So I'm gonna save this file and we'll open it in the browser. And when I open it in the browser, you notice nothing actually um, plays, so there's no sound. And that's because we need to add an extra um, little bit of information to the audio tag. So we'll go back to our code. And in the audio tag, there's a couple of different things we can add here. One thing that we can do is we can add controls. If we save that and refresh the page, that's added these controls here. So the user can actually start playing the music. And might not be able to hear this. And they can pause the music. They can also change the volume as well and they can slide it along to play it at different positions. Okay, so that's just the free sound from the YouTube audio library. But by adding the controls tag, the user can now actually play the song. What you might also like to do is add autoplay. So if I refresh this, the music starts playing automatically. Okay, so that's basically we've added controls and we've added autoplay so that the music um, will automatically start playing as soon as the page has loaded. We can get rid of controls if we just want the sound to automatically begin playing when the page loads, but we don't want the user to be able to control it, then we can do that. Okay, we can add the autoplay tag. However, keep in mind if the user actually wants to stop playing the music or the sound effects, then they'll have to um, close the page or close their browser because it will just keep playing. We can also add loop. So I might uh, put controls back in. So I'm going to have audio controls, autoplay and loop. Save that and oops, open that in the browser. Now the music automatically starts playing. We have the controls here as well, so they control it. They can control the audio. But also notice when I drag this to the end, I don't actually know how long the song goes for, but when I drag it to the end, as soon as the song ends, it should start playing from the beginning again. There we go, because I'm using the loop. The loop attribute there. Okay, so that is how to uh, add audio to your web page using the audio tag. We've learned a couple of things today, how to use a few things today, how to use the audio tag, how to add controls and autoplay and loop to your audio, how to specify the file type um, and the location of the file, the actual file name, how to tell the browser um, or how to tell the user that their browser doesn't support the HTML5 audio tag, 
and how to get um, different file formats playing um, to support different browsers. Okay, thanks for watching.